Early in 2025, during what should have been an ordinary lab test, a quantum system behaved so strangely that the research team froze. At first, they assumed it was an error, faulty wiring, a glitch, a miscalibrated detector. But the readings didn't vanish, they sharpened, they repeated, and soon, it became clear that something deep inside the device was defying every classical expectation. It wasn't a dramatic explosion of data, no giant particle collider sending particles flying. It was something far quieter, a quantum state that simply refused to collapse when it should have. A system that remained coherent long after theory predicted it would fall apart. A macroscopic object, large enough to inspect under a microscope, acting like a single quantum wave. The moment the team confirmed their results, one truth became impossible to ignore. Classical physics hadn't broken, it had simply shown its limits. This breakthrough didn't overthrow the rules of physics, it revealed that the rules we trusted weren't the whole story. For centuries, we've pictured the universe as an orderly place. Motion followed force, heat followed energy. Nature fit neatly into equations that behaved the same way every time. Quantum mechanics disrupted that picture in the early 1900s. But only in the tiny realm of atoms and particles, that weirdness, superpositions, tunneling, unpredictable outcomes felt distant from everyday life. So, physics settled into a comfortable compromise. Quantum mechanics ruled the microscope, classical physics described the macroscopic. The two worlds ran side by side, separate but compatible. But that separation was never written into the laws of nature. It was an assumption, a practical one, born from the fact that quantum effects in large systems seemed impossible to preserve. Heat, vibration, and environmental noise always erased them before they could be observed. The new breakthrough challenged that assumption directly. It showed that the quantum world doesn't shrink as systems grow larger. It simply becomes harder to see. The device at the heart of this discovery was a superconducting circuit, cooled almost to absolute zero. At those temperatures, the electrons inside behave differently. Instead of moving independently, they merge into a single wave with a shared quantum state. This is not theoretical, it's something physicists can measure and manipulate with real instruments. The researchers push this system deliberately toward the edge of chaos. They change the temperature in controlled increments. They introduce noise, not enough to ruin the setup, but enough that any normal quantum state should have collapsed. They drove the system through energy levels rapidly, waiting for the moment it would slip into classical behavior. But the collapse didn't come. The wave function stretched, it shifted, it morphed into new shapes, but it did not break. Even when the environment should have drowned the quantum signal, the state persisted, holding on to coherence like a flame refusing to go out in a storm. What the team found wasn't indestructible quantum behavior, it was something more subtle and more profound. Quantum behavior that adapted instead of disappearing. This was the first clue that the quantum classical boundary wasn't a wall, it was a gradient, a sliding scale shaped by the environment, not by fundamental laws. Every physicist learns that decoherence is the process that destroys quantum behavior. When a quantum system interacts with its surroundings, its fragile state becomes scrambled, the wave function loses definition, and the system settles into a classical outcome. That's why you never see a car in superposition or a table tunneling through the floor. But the new experiments showed that decoherence isn't a simple on-off switch. It doesn't act the same way in every kind of system, and it doesn't always destroy quantum information. It sometimes hides it in different variables or redistributes it rather than erasing it. The researchers didn't eliminate noise, they sculpted it. They found that when the noise follows certain patterns, quantum behavior can survive within it. Decoherence didn't stop the quantum state, it forced the state to recognize. This was the moment the classical explanation cracked. It became clear that classical physics was never a separate regime. It was just the point at which our instruments stopped seeing the quantum world beneath. The most surprising lesson from the breakthrough was the resilience of the quantum state. 
quantum systems were always assumed to be delicate. The slightest disturbance could destroy them. But now, it appears that fragility wasn't the fundamental feature. It was the result of the wrong kind of disturbance. When the environment was tuned correctly, the quantum system behaved almost like a living pattern, adapting, stabilizing, finding new ways to maintain coherence. It could stretch across energy levels without falling apart. It could withstand fluctuations that should have forced it into classical behavior. It even responded to small bursts of noise by temporarily dipping and then recovering coherence. This wasn't immortality. Quantum states still collapse. But the discovery showed that collapse is not nature's default. It is merely the most common outcome when the environment is messy and uncontrolled. Quantum mechanics wasn't fragile. Our ability to shelter it was. The researchers began noticing patterns that simply shouldn't happen if the system were behaving in a normal, classical way. The most surprising part was that a large quantum state, something made from trillions of electrons, stayed stable even when the environment around it was changing. Normally, any little disturbance should have destroyed the quantum behavior instantly. Instead, the state held together. They saw superpositions lasting far longer than any previous experiments had managed. The quantum wave function shifted and oscillated in shapes that didn't match predictions from classical physics. Even when the system was pushed towards chaotic, unstable conditions, the different parts of the device still showed correlations that only quantum mechanics could explain. In other words, the system was acting quantum in places where classical physics expected it to snap back into ordinary behavior. There wasn't a classical equation that could make sense of what they were seeing. The data didn't fit the old boundary that separates the quantum world from the everyday world. But when they fed the measurements into quantum models and allowed those models to apply at larger scales, the results lined up almost perfectly. The breakthrough didn't break the laws of physics. It simply showed that the limits we assumed were there weren't. Our view of how far quantum mechanics can reach was too small. The universe was always more quantum than we realized. Whenever experiments outgrow the theories meant to describe them, physics enters a transitional period. Something similar happened when Newton's laws couldn't explain Mercury's orbit. It happens when atomic spectra refuse to match classical predictions. Each time, the universe offered a quiet hint that our models needed expansion. The new quantum breakthrough may be one of those hints. It suggests that the shift from quantum to classical physics is not a change in rules, but a change in resolution. At the smallest scales, quantum behavior is sharp and visible. At large scales, it is blurred into patterns that look classical, but the underlying engine remains the same. The idea is forcing physicists to rethink long-standing assumptions. Maybe our classical laws like motion, Energy, heat, and even time are simply emergent features. Not wrong, but incomplete. One interpretation rising in popularity is that the universe may be fundamentally informational. Quantum states aren't physical objects in the usual sense. They are relationships, correlations between possibilities. Decoherence doesn't destroy them. It disperses their structure. Classical behavior emerges when information becomes too scrambled to track. The new experiment supports this idea because the quantum state reorganized under pressure instead of collapsing. Information flowed differently, but it didn't disappear. If the universe really runs on information at its deepest level, then the laws of physics we use to describe the macroscopic world might be the visible patterns created by that hidden informational layer. We're not close to proving this, but the fact that the idea is even on the table says everything about how significant this breakthrough is. This isn't just a philosophical shift, it has real technological consequences. Quantum computers could become easier to scale because quantum states may tolerate more noise than expected. Quantum sensors could become far more precise, detecting small changes in gravity or magnetic fields. Quantum networks could carry entangled signals over longer distances. Even materials research could benefit, with new phases of matter emerging from controlled large-scale coherence. The breakthrough hints that quantum engineering doesn't have to fight fragility forever. With the right environmental tuning, quantum systems might become more practical and more robust than anyone thought. That doesn't just open new doors, it opens doors we didn't even know were there. Physics didn't collapse in 2025, it expanded. 
This breakthrough showed us that quantum mechanics doesn't belong to the microscopic world. It belongs to reality at every scale. The classical world, the world that feels solid and predictable, turns out to be only the surface. Beneath it lies a dynamic, resilient quantum landscape that we are only beginning to understand. For the first time, we've seen that landscape stretch into the realm we can touch. The universe didn't rewrite its rules, it revealed that the rules we trusted were only one version of the truth. If you want to keep exploring that deeper version, where quantum behavior and everyday reality collide, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because the next chapter of physics is already unfolding.